Okay, so we've had lots of friends and visitors come and uh, stay with us over the years, often from places a long way away, and they wanted to come and see the sights of London. And so, uh, because Becky likes running, and because we like visitors, Ben and I thought we would take a quick run round all the best sites of London to see what we can see and to show you what you can see. So we're off, ready to go down the tube into London. We're on the tube. Time to get going. And here we are, coming out into the light at Marble Arch tube station. Now you'll never guess what there is at Marble Arch. That's right, a marble arch. Check that out. We're at the north east corner of Hyde Park and we're gonna go for a run across there. You ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, well this is Speaker's Corner where people stand on soap boxes and milk crates and speak. Well, or they don't speak, whichever they prefer. Come on kids, let's go. Well, this is the Serpentine. You can go boating and pedlowing and all that kind of malarkey. There we are. And I better catch up with that pair of ragamuffins. And oh, here we are, just to keep an eye on us all, keep us all safe. The tamest squirrels in the world. There we are, look. These, of course, are American imports. Gray squirrels. And very cute they are too. Look at that. Well, this is the Albert Memorial. Check that out. Erected by Queen Victoria in memory of her husband, Albert. And it's directly opposite the, guess what, Royal, that's right, Albert Hall. Being done up at the moment. It's um, <coughs> a bit of a uh, mess of scaffolding, but uh, you can imagine what it normally looks like. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna walk through Kensington Gore, which is like this beautiful old red brick bit of London behind the Royal Albert Hall. Ah, there we are, sunshine, bump into Becky. Um, Albert Hall Mansions, how about that? And uh, we're gonna go and find the world's most famous department store. Uh, so we'll see you in about five minutes. Okay, so here's the Science Museum. It's actually not much to look at on the outside. Well, I suppose it's quite impressive. It's kind of, you know, big, grandiose limestone. Uh, it's got some quite cool stuff inside, um, but we're about to show you one or two other museums which have got a lot to see on the outside. Very impressive. Anyway, find them in a second. Oh, look, bubbles. <laughs> and there's this again. Ooh, oh no, it didn't work, did it? <laughs> Here we go. Woo! So um, here's the a part of the National History Natural History Museum, and uh, we always tell our friends that if you come to see a museum, you should get here early in the morning because it's now 3:30 in the afternoon, and here on a Saturday is the queue for entry. Okay, so get down here at 10 o'clock in the morning, get in, you'll be able to go straight in and out, and you won't have any problem at all. But by now. You're queuing for an hour just to get through the front door. And across the road, there is the new Henry Cole wing of the Victoria and Albert Museum. It's rather pretty. I'll go and show you the front of that in a second. Okay, well, they don't make them like this anymore. This is a the outside of the Natural History Museum, the front entrance. And if you think it looks a little bit like a cathedral, then you would be right. It was designed to look a little bit like a cathedral. And that's why it looks so spectacular. Um, a cathedral celebrating the glorious work of God in creating all the natural wonders of the world. And uh, this, quite interesting little thing here, is a petrified tree trunk. There we are. Like a fossilized tree, I guess. Check that out. Dug up from somewhere. And um, yeah, very impressive. And. There are no queues here because all the queues are on the other side. Oh, and butterflies. Look, you can go and see the butterflies if you want to. Right, let's go and find another museum just up this away. Okay, so here we are on Cromwell Road. And there is the Victoria and Albert Museum. You can't really see the museum itself so well from here because you've got all these trees in the way. But inside, it's basically a museum of design. 
So interior design, clothing, etc., that kind of thing. Uh, other kinds of design, uh, computers and all sorts of bits and pieces. It's very cool and uh, slightly trendy. And we're not going to go inside it because the queue's huge, but um, good to go and see. Right, I think we need to go down the tube, kids, and go and find the next thing. Should we go? Let's go. Come on. Right. All right then, let's go down Park. Can you drink the water? I don't think it'd be very wise. All those people sticking their fingers in it. You want to drink that? Birds pooing in it? <laughs> oh look, coffee. Mm. Okay, so I just realised we forgot to go to the most famous department store in the world, which is of course Harrods, where you can buy anything as long as you don't mind paying through the nose for it. Um, but Anyway, here we are. We've come through uh, Green Park and we're now approaching the most famous royal residence in the world. Dare I say it? Well, let's see. Come on. Well, they're moving. Are they changing? Dang. These guys are in charge of looking after all of the Queen's residents. And I have read somewhere recently that they're not armed. The rifles have not got any ammunition in them. And you might think, um, what's the point of that? Well, it turns out but these chaps have rifles which are loaded. Yes. So probably best not to do anything silly like climb on the fence which some kid did a minute or two ago and got shouted at by the policeman. <laughs> okay, time to go. So here is the lake in St James's Park which is just down the road from Buckingham Palace up there. And uh, there's a little island down the bottom where all the ducks are. Guess what that's called? That's right, you guessed it. Duck Island. There, oh look at this, oh, check it out, there's a pelican. Pelican, cool. All right, time to get going. That's right, it's the Hall of the Mountain King.
<laughs> Fantastic. The Pico Players, London's amateur orchestra. Fantastic. When you come to London, if you fly to London, if you come to Heathrow, you should be a bit uh, careful when you're be observant. Watch where you're going when you're uh, coming into land because that plane is coming to land at Heathrow and if the wind's in the right direction you'll do what that plane's doing, you'll be flying quite low over all the sites of central London. So check that out and if you sit, especially if you sit on the right hand side of the plane then obviously you'll be able to see down and see all this stuff. Huh, how about that? Approaching the Olympic Beach Volleyball Stadium also known as Horse Guards Parade and guess what, here's a horse guard. Rather grumpy looking one, but I guess uh, maybe they're good at being grumpy. So here we are, it's where they go to practice parading as horse guards. How about that? Very nice. And we're going to go and find some of the political bits and pieces Downing Street and uh, Westminster and so on. Next, if you just look over there, you can just about see poking above the rooftops, you can just about see. The London Eye, which you'll also go and see later. Okay, let's go. There we are, a member of the Majesty's Household Cavalry. Okay, so we're at the north end of Whitehall, which means we're right opposite Trafalgar Square, and there's Nelson's Column with Admiral, Admiral Lord Nelson at the top. And there's the National Gallery. Loads of stuff around here. So over there you've got the Church of St Martin in the Fields, Free lunchtime concerts and amazing evening concerts as well. The National Gallery right there. The National Portrait Gallery around the corner. Loads of buses and lots of noise and lots of mess. And wonderful things to see. And even some lions, which you're not allowed to climb on anymore. When I was a kid, you used to be able to go and sit on their heads. Not a photo taken, but they don't like you climbing them anymore. Anyway, we're going to head down Whitehall and see what we can see next. We want to see lots of things in London uh, from the comfort of... Uh, not having to walk anywhere, you can just jump on one of these buses. Uh, again, they're not that cheap, but they are a very good way to see lots and lots of things quite quickly. They're also very noisy. Anyway, it is what it is. But we're walking, because it's cheaper. Oh, there's another bus. Right. Oh, look. A clock. Woohoo! We'll go and see him later. Oh, that's Downing Street. You can't go down there anymore, obviously. Uh, this is Whitehall. Up there is the uh, is Trafalgar Square, and these are all kind of government offices, Home Office, Ministry of Defence, and this bits and pieces. Down here is Westminster, so we're going to head down there, see the Houses of Parliament, and Westminster Bridge, and Westminster Abbey, and so on and so forth. Let's go, come on, let's rock and roll! Oh yeah, the London Eye, how about that? That is, it's on the south of the river. So the river's just over there. Okay, let's go. Well, we made it to Westminster. So here we are, you've got um, Statue of Churchill right there. You can see him. And then you've got Westminster Abbey. Don't worry about it, you just go right there. Um, Westminster Abbey, St Margaret's in front of there. There's the Palace of Westminster. And here, half covered in scaffolding, poor old fella, is St Stephen's Clock Tower, with Big Ben bonging away for the time being, at least, up there. There's talk of it stopping bonging for a few years, but I think some people have complained about that, so maybe it'll be okay. And Westminster Bridge is down this way. We'll be able to get our first view of the river. Okay, well, here is the front of the Palace of Westminster, if those buses will just clear off out of the way. And, yeah, they don't make them like that anymore. Really rather spectacular. There's uh, the clock tower with Big Ben, and here's the river. Ta-da! Brown as ever. And there's London Eye and the other whatever it is going on behind that. That's quite a fair ground ride, isn't it? And that's, we're looking downstream right there. So uh, down there is uh, London Bridge, which is fairly boring. But from it, you can see Tower Bridge, which is really cool. There's the South Bank. We're going to walk all the way along there. If you want, you can get a cruise from here all the way to Tower Bridge. In fact, you can go even further than that. And that's a great way to relax and see lots of things because there's lots of stuff on the river. You can be a bit less relaxed and go on one of these because they really do whip along. Uh, once they get further out. Um, but you can get a cruise all the way along and all the way back if you want, but we're gonna walk because then we can show you all the stuff on the South Bank. Beginning, no doubt, with this little baby. Woohoo! Okay, let's go. Come on, kids. Now, I've never been in here, the London Dungeon, but they sort of sell it as a really gruesome glimpse into 
London's gory and seedy past. Don't know whether that appeals to you. <laughs> anyway, there it is if you want it. Okay, well here we are. We are now underneath the London Eye. Right up there. Woohoo! Check that out. And the queues. Well, just say, let's just say that um, if you want to go, you need to book a ticket in advance because the queues are just crazy. But it's fun to go on it. Been on it a couple of times. It takes about half an hour or 40 minutes to go around and you get some amazing views. And we're going to keep walking. We're heading east along the South Bank. And all these crowds have come to see all these same things. Right, let's go. And here's one of the reasons why people come to the South Bank. Just get these really cool buskers. bookstore, book fair on the South Bank, always get this kind of stuff. And there is the National Theatre and the South Bank Centre. The National Theatre is of course a monument to a, a phase of British architectural thinking which uh, in probably in a few decades time we will look back and scratch our heads and wonder what were we thinking. But anyway, yeah, it does look terrible but um, who knows, maybe somebody will knock it down and build something pleasant to look at at some point. Anyway, for now, there it is, the National Theatre, and we're going to head along here to see a few other bits and pieces. What is this, you might ask? I have no idea, I would reply. What is it, Ben? Well, I know that that's like the logo from the game. Oh, okay. A commercial thing. Anyway, here's a TV studio, shops and things, ugly buildings. Oxo Tower, it's quite cool. There's a restaurant up there on the top of there, which Nicole and I went to once, courtesy of BP, who were giving away freebies. So, thank you very much, BP. Oh, and there is um, St Paul's Cathedral. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Check that out. Proper artist at work. Look at that. So here is the Tate Modern, which is an art gallery. You might think it looks a little bit like a, an old power station. Well, guess what? <laughs> yes, it used to be a power station. Um, and the, tub, the old turbine hall is now a uh, big exhibit and everything's kind of in there. Uh, from the ridiculous to the sublime, there's St Paul's Cathedral. And we're going to go and have a closer look at that and the Millennium Footbridge just here in a moment. There we are. That's how to build a cathedral. So the Millennium Footbridge was opened, guess when? Around about the Millennium. And uh, Nicole and I happened to be just down the river from here when it opened. And they sent this huge crowd of school kids over it uh, to celebrate it being opened. Unfortunately, all the school kids started falling over because the bridge was wobbly. It hadn't been designed properly, and so it had to be closed immediately, and it wasn't opened again for another couple of years. And it's ever since then been known as the Wobbly Bridge, obviously. And they fixed the wobbles, and now it's safe to walk on. So there it is. And you'll have seen that if you've watched Harry Potter films. 
and all that kind of malarkey. And then you look around here, oh yeah, look, that's the tallest building in London now, the Shard. There we are. Is it the tallest in Europe? Well, how about that? And there is, these are some nice little old houses, look at these, it's very beautiful. And then, that's right, the Globe Theatre, um, a replica of the theatre used to, to uh, in which um, Shakespeare's plays were performed, is just under the trees here. Hold on, we'll go and have a look at it. There we are. Um, that's the globe, and it's beautiful. And you can get tickets. Uh, to see plays in there if you don't mind standing in the yard um, which means you're 10 feet away from the actors if you get at the front you can get tickets for a fiver just don't try and buy them on the day because they'll all have sold out but you can get um, more expensive tickets if you want to sit down but it's brilliant you can get to see some of the best plays performed by some amazing absolutely incredible actors and actresses the globe theater there it is okay let's go and find something else Well, if you're going to create graffiti, I guess. <laughs> Here's another bit of a macabre museum. The old clink. Prison museum. I don't know whether it's even more gory than the London dungeon, but there it is. And this is a replica of the Golden Hind, on which Sir Francis Drake travelled on his travels. Right here, just on the south bank of the Thames by the old Thames side in. Which is quite nice. Oh. And we're gonna go now around the corner, see if we can find another bridge. So we're now on London Bridge, which is not especially beautiful. Not, no particular reason to come here. There's a financial district kind of up there in the city of London. The only real reason to come to London Bridge, if you're sightseeing, is because London Bridge gives you an amazing view of Tower Bridge, which is that one, the next one out east. The other side of Tower Bridge, you can't quite see it, is the Tower of London. And it, can you see it? Oh yeah, you can, yeah, sorry, forgive me Ben, you're right, you can see it just there on the left. And then that ship is a ship Belfast, and you can get towards along there. Um, and yes, we're good. And it's now early evening. I think I need to get home. Are we going to get home, kids? Yeah. You're tired. Yeah? <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's go. Let's head back home. So we're going to go down here towards the London Bridge Tube, I think. Okay, we're almost home. Oh. Thank you. 